Hey y'all, welcome back to yet another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. I've got more 3030 for you today. Today we're going to be shooting Federal Fusion 150 grain and of course 3030. And here's your box for that Federal Fusion 150 grain 3030 load. We do have a deer icon, that is what this stuff is meant for. I really like the Federal Fusion boxes. They have a little bit of flair on them. I like the flag made in USA. Let's whip it around to the back. Here's your promo information for the Fusion Bullet. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Coming over to the left, we have our ballistics data. Velocity at the muzzle is listed at your standard 150 grain 30, 30 velocity of 2,390 feet per second. We will be shooting these out of a 20 inch barreled Marlin 336 Classic, which is your quintessential barrel length for the 30, 30. So we'll see how close we come to that. Let's go ahead and pull the stuff out and take a look. Your standard federal black plastic ammo holder pulling it out and there it is there's your bonded fusion bullet as per standard with federal the primer is sealed with a blue lacquer type stuff that is a very nice touch let's go shoot it and see how it does and my test rifle today is my Ruger made Marlin model 336 classic it's got a 20 inch barrel and up top I've got a Leopold VX3 HD two and a half to eight power scope and coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. This one is an antique brown color. I've got 3030 stamped right in. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And if you're looking for a handmade, super thick Latigo leather sling, I've got you covered there too. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tail deer design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are the velocities for that Federal Fusion 150 grain 3030 30 load, minimum 2386, max 2397, average 2392. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Federal Fusion 150 grain 3030 30 stuff. Excellent performance, I think. We captured all three bullets. Let's go ahead and take a look at penetration. This one is, oh, uh, it's kissing 29 inches. We'll give it 29 inches. We've got one right here at about 30 inches. And this one is kissing 31 inches. So excellent penetration out of 150 grain 30 30 load and changing my angle a little bit you can see the expansion seems to be pretty uniform and nice all the way around coming back to the first block this 30 30 load had a bit of an energy dump compared to a lot of the other ones i've tested this first block right here would flip off the table every single time and i'd have to come down here and rearrange them but it looks like the bullets come in start to expand at about the one and a half inch mark They've got your wound cavity and then they taper off rather swiftly by about the five to six inch mark. They're kind of done and then just punching on through. And that's how you get that deep penetration. They don't dump all of their gas up front. Pretty standard for 3030. It's just not an explosive up front cartridge. So let's go ahead and dig these things out and take a look. All right, y'all, we fired it. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's talk about what might just be the king of 3030 hunting loads at the end of the day. Federal Fusion 150 grain. Let's get into it. Weight retention, 148, 149, and 150 grains for an average of 149 grains retained weight. That is 99% weight retention. Really wouldn't expect much less at this point from the Federal Fusion, and this one delivered. Expansion, we saw 0 0.59, 0 0.6, and 0 0.6 inches for an average of about 0.6 inches expanded diameter, which works out to 2x expansion, which is what I like to see for a 3030. And also notice in the photo how uniform the expansion is. It is all the way around. This stuff's going to make a really nice hole. On to velocity, this load just keeps on winning. The high velocity was 2397, 
the low 2386 for an average of 2392 for an 11 foot per second spread nice and precise versus the factory build velocity of 2390 so we came in two feet per second faster than the build velocity always nice to see especially out of a 3030 which the factories should be using a 20 inch barrel to test 20 inch barrels being by orders of magnitude the most popular barrel length in a 3030 winchester by far not even close and then the estimated impact velocity at 100 yards is still over 2,000 feet per second at 2,033 feet per second on to penetration this load did it all not only did it expand well and hold together it also penetrated extremely deep it penetrated deeper than any other 150 grain 30 30 load i've tested so far and deeper than any 170 grain load we saw 29 inches 30 inches and 31 inches of penetration for an average of about 30 inches of penetration this stuff is gonna go through what you need it to if I recall correctly, the only 3030 load I've tested so far that has gone deeper than this Federal Fusion 150 was the Barnes Pioneer with the 190 grain bullet. And I would expect that to go deeper than this. And then on to kinetic energy with 150 grain bullet going on average 2,392 feet per second. We're looking at 1,905 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle and 1,377 foot pounds at 100 yards. And y'all, that is the most powerful 3030 load I have tested thus far on the channel, and I've done just about all of them. So if you want a sledgehammer of a 3030 load, this Federal Fusion 150 stuff is it. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, time for my final thoughts on this Federal Fusion 150 grand 30 30 load. I mean, what more can I say? It hit every metric. Not only did it hit every metric, it blew them away. Absolutely phenomenal. 99% weight retention, 2X expansion, that's what we wanna see velocity that exceeded the manufacturer's specification, the deepest penetrating 30-30 load I've done thus far, except for the Barnes 190 grainer, phenomenal across the board. This is unequivocally my top pick for a 30-30 hunting ammo. Now you may recall that a while back I tested the Federal Hammer Down 150 grain load, which in that video I think, I believe I said if I didn't I should have, that I believe it's the same bullet. I think it's the same bullet in the Hammer Down line and the Fusion line. I could be wrong, but they sure look the same. Now the one big difference between that load and this load was the velocity. The Hammer Down load came in a bit slower than this Fusion load, but I tested it out of a different rifle. I tested that Hammer Down load out of my Glenfield 30A. This Federal Fusion load I tested out of a almost brand new Ruger made Marlin Model 336, so I don't know, the barrel might be a little tighter or something and we were able to get more velocity, or it could be that this fusion load was loaded a little bit hotter. It's hard to say, without taking both rifles back out to the range and shooting them through the chronograph with both kinds of ammo. It's really kind of a moot point, I just wanted to bring that up. So at the end of the day, there's nothing more to say. This is the king of 3030 Winchester hunting ammo, in my opinion, based on this test. Now I haven't used it in the field yet, but I will be using it this fall. And if I get something, I'll definitely report back with the results. If you or anybody you know have used this ammo on game, let us all know in the comments how it did. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their Mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.